Good morning. Uh, it, it is um, not a good morning for a lot of folks in Ventura County. Uh, there is a fire burning there. It's called the Thomas Fire. It has burned 31,000 acres, 150 structures have burned there. And you're looking live at what was the Vista Del Mar Mental Health Hospital that is now a total loss. This is outside of Ventura. It is just one of the many casualties in that Thomas fire. But it is not the only fire burning. We've had three fires, two of them in Los Angeles County. The big one is called the Creek Fire. It is above Lakeview Terrace, where more than, well, I think we're up to 2,500 acres has burned. Let's go to Greg Mills live. Greg. And Sharon, Jeff, I am with Barry Coper. He has lived here for 22 years. We're going to back off. And Barry, tell us, you see the flames right there. How close are they to your house? Well, that hot spot right there is The just, very top. Yeah, at the very top. That's really actually where my neighbor's house is, at the very top, where those flames are shooting up in that tree. And my house is just to the right of that. You have been standing here. I've been watching you. You have just been mesmerized, just watching, staring intently, and hoping. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell from here exactly what's going on. Uh, the fire department just arrived a while ago, so uh, we, we didn't get any warning this morning at all. It was just uh, by neighbor calling neighbor, and uh, we evacuated. But where are you seeing that burst of flames right now? That would be my neighbor's house right over there. What's this like for you right now? Well, this is just really, really scary. Uh, I... I have a, a lot of stuff in my house that I just didn't know what to grab. You know, I knew what was important to grab, but then beyond that, you have memories, mm -hmm. and you try to grab everything you can. And you've got one car, and it's not going to hold every memory. No, no, it's not. But, uh, you know, it's all just stuff, and uh, getting out is what's important. And uh, You've been here 22 years. Have you seen this before? Yes. Yes, I, this is probably my fourth time being evacuated. Uh, there was first the uh, station fire, then the Sand Canyon fire, and uh, now this is this one just whipped up out of nowhere and caught us all by surprise. And the Wildlife Way Station is up beyond those flames, right? Right, it's up here, up Cagle Canyon Road. That's where they rehab animals. They do a Correct. great job of doing that, but they've been evacuated before, and it's always difficult because so many different animals. You've got snakes, you have lions, things like that. You need caretakers that are specialized to get them out. Now you see the flames coming this way. Yeah. Now, down lower here where the, they haven't done any drops, all this is burning on the low areas, and it's... Uh, it looks like it's coming our way. <laughs> it certainly does. So it's Jeff and Sharon, you can see, and it's really, really difficult to see now because of the wind just kicking up all this smoke. And uh, yeah, this fire is heading this way. We are on Cagle Canyon Road right now and uh, just watching the flames build and build because of this wind. Mentioned before, very erratic. Now it's coming to us, coming right at the camera, whereas a few minutes ago it was blowing totally away. But it's done a 180 just in the last minute or two. Okay. So you see the flames right there. And this has consumed several thousand acres here already. Everybody in this area, we are just west of, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Foothill, that area off the 210. And uh, people are under mandatory evacuation orders. Most people have left. Some are still waiting and watching and uh, just hoping and praying. And, and you see this now, it's kicked up again. Yeah, it's coming up around, you know, it's this is this mountain here where there are homes on top of it. It's kind of all the way around a mountain that's sticking up, a little mountain. So what's happening now is the flames are coming around towards the east. And so uh, it's kind of coming around. We've had a couple drops there by the helicopters, which did a lot. And all we can hope is that the fire department is up there on the top of the hill. We have seen some water dropping helicopter shots that have done an incredible job. And Jeff and Sharon, that, that's such dangerous work to start with. But in these winds and with this heavy, dense smoke, that uh, makes it even more perilous for those folks in the, in the helicopter that are dropping the water. But uh, they're doing a remarkable job trying to stop this fire in its tracks. And we see emergency vehicle, vehicles coming down. Got to tell you, we saw two women who were walking their horse down this road, horses, a few minutes ago, Cagle Canyon. And I asked them why they were doing that. The woman said, my barn burned. The horses are just freaking out. We don't have a trailer. So this is the only way for us to get them to a trailer, which is down this street. Oh. So uh, they're actually walking their horses out of Cagle Canyon. And now the sun is starting to come up, and we can see a little bit better. Oh, wow. Things are 
looking a little, do you see anything up there can you make anything out yet no not really uh that uh big uh eucalyptus tree there is right on my neighbor's front yard and it caught on fire so i don't know what it's like up there but yeah, the only saving grace is the sun is finally breaking through and coming up. You mentioned neighbor called neighbor called neighbor. Are any neighbors up there that you know of? Uh, yes, my my next door neighbor, uh, John Kerr, I think he might still be up there. Uh, he said he was going to wait it out. But, uh, you know, when it comes and whips around here and there's only one way in, one road in and one way out, uh, it becomes very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. And you see these flames, and they are not stopping anywhere near. So, no, no. All right, Barry, good luck to you, my best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And Jeff and Sharon, we'll wrap it up from here, but uh, this is the way it looks at Cagle Canyon, and we're going to toss it back to you. Well, let's hope for the best. Greg, thank you.